If you've ever watched my reviews of horror movies, then you know that I have an appreciation for the indie horror scene and the products thereof. And thus, in my late night searches on YouTube for short horror movies, a long time ago I came across a channel called Crypt TV. Now, I originally clicked it thinking it was going to be something else, but that's for later. I gathered you here on my large internet megaphone to speak to this massive internet audience to tell you about this channel. Crypt TV is a collection of short horror films by a bunch of independent writers, directors, actors, and with their own unique ideas. There's all kinds of amazing and interesting ideas and plots ranging from a long-term series like The look a series about a monster that comes to claim a piece of you if you can't rid yourself of a destructive habit, or The Sunny Family Cult, which is an investigator report into a very obvious and very creepy cult. If that's not what you're looking for, you can check out some of their short Crypt Monster series, or even just unconnected videos if you want a quick spook. My personal favorite is about a killer elf on a shelf, which should not be confused with an actual horror movie about that. If this elevator pitch interests you, but you're not quite deep enough to go watch it yourself, or you want someone to speak more about this topic, the channel Nightmind has an amazing half-hour look at the video and the channel that will sell you more than I ever could. But telling you the channel isn't my goal here. I want to pitch something new. I mentioned that when I clicked on Crypt TV, I thought it was something different than it was. I realize now that there was no reason for me to think this when I clicked it, but I clicked it hoping it was an anthology series. Something akin to Tales from the Crypt or The Twilight Zone. It would act as a collection or a showcase of small horror filmmakers and feature a unique framing device, like the Crypt Keeper. See, if there's a major complaint that I could lob against Crypt TV, it's that some of its shorter videos have interesting ideas, but aren't interesting videos. Take, for example, The Birch, which is a minute-long video about a kid who's bullied in school and performs a Wiccan ritual to summon a creature, presumably called the Birch, to seek vengeance on his behalf. Or The Call, in which a babysitter receives a phone call from a monster in the room of a child she just put to bed. Now, these are both interesting ideas. They're solid prompts to build a real story off of. And while the Birch arguably has a full story, including rules for the monster, the Call does not. In fact, the Call doesn't have anything in the way of real horror except the suggestion of something. Which is cool. I'm not going to say that it's not, because it's a good way to film horror. But the way it's done isn't particularly frightening. It's just a cool suggestion. I don't want to get into their horrible habit of posting the twist or the scare of the video in their goddamn thumbnails, destroying any sting or weight that that shot should carry. You can watch House of Dolls. It's showing right now. It's 20 seconds long, and look how good it is when the fucking shocker image isn't given away in the thumbnail. But House of Dolls also suffers from the same flaw in that it's a good idea, but outside of that image, there's no meat to this video. It's, it's just there. So, I hate to be overly negative about things, and I still give the channel a hard recommendation, but I have an idea. A proposal, if someone would like to fund it, about a way to hide the flaws of Crypt TV. Now, I don't say fix. Just hide them in something all its own. So you'll notice that the channel is called Crypt TV, but this refers more to the fact that you can find horror on it. Kind of the same way that sci-fi is named sci-fi or chiller is on television. It, it tells you the genre that is in the show as opposed to any kind of real meaning to it. If you grew up watching movies that you had no business watching at your age, like I did, then you'll recognize this man. This is Joe Bob Briggs. He was the host of a late night horror special on TNT way back when, and more recently had a special called The Last Drive In with Joe Bob. Now, he built an audience and a series around sitting down and watching old and usually bad horror movies, and then talking to the audience about that show in the vein of a fourth wall breaking MST3K. He's the one who got me interested not just in scary movies 
but in the lore and the mechanics of making horror films, whether they're good or bad. His show is based on the premise that you joined him in sitting down and just watching these movies for a while. Now, Crypt TV in its name has a built-in premise for a similar framing device. All you have to do is make one set and put a man in a studio bank with all the TVs and stuff. Or hell, just a man at home watching television a la Red Letter Media. And instead of having a bunch of 30 second to 10 minute videos with this end plate that takes 40 seconds, sometimes longer than the short that they're showing, you can string together a bunch of videos like House of Dolls, which is 40 seconds, The Call, which is a minute and a half, The Birch is another minute and a half. You see where I'm going with this? You stitch it into this great episode of a show, and instead of just these harsh, abrupt endings, just have him change the channel with an observation or a one-liner about the short. Hell, if you really want to, have him take a minute to just kind of expand on the ideas in the shorts presented, sometimes with a joke or a pun like the Crypt Keeper, or with a serious eye on horror like Joe Bob did. You can create a real showcase for these videos instead of just a random 30-second clip that people will forget when the next one comes out. It also lets you get your weaker videos some more interest by coupling them with great ones. Crypt TV is the first channel I've seen that has done what I've dreamt of doing for years. They've created a real viable platform for people who want to make short horror films and just need the tools to do so. I want it to do well, but at the moment they're just... There are just these flaws that keep me from enjoying that channel regularly. Until this video, I hadn't visited Crypt TV in almost five months because I just wasn't interested in half-baked ideas or stories that fall apart at the first poke. Again, this idea doesn't solve those issues. Those issues are just what happens when you have an endeavor like this. But it lets you hide a lot of them or even address them in a constructive way. Now, I didn't make this video as a way to try to sell this idea to Crypt TV, and I sure as hell don't have the funding or the connections to make it myself, because I don't know that many indie horror creators. I just made it in the hopes that one day someone could see it, and maybe they'll pick up the idea and they'll make something great from it. Or maybe, if I'm lucky, someday, years from now, I'll get to post an update where I fulfilled my dream. Whichever comes first.